hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome to like subscribe share and comment so today is just a quick review and like this video is probably going to be mixed up because like it's just a combination of a lot of videos right but the main agenda guys today is the coffee and lemon concussion right so i'm gonna share my review okay if you're new here you're welcome to like subscribe share and comment and if you want to be part of the graceful family you're gonna have to subscribe you're gonna have to share you're gonna have to comment right so what's happening is i'm doing this review of the coffee and lemon concussion so i started this uh so i'm gonna share a video right i started this on the 27th of september and then i stopped doing it properly on the 4th of october around about the 4th or the 5th of october so i did it for like over for like seven days or eight days right and my starting weight guys hey that's this thing in show kid my starting weight was 120 kgs like i'll like there'll be a video following up whereby i took a scale a video mentioning how much i weigh and stuff like that i was weighing like 121 if i'm not mistaken 120 121 right so i took the concussion but i was so afraid because people kept on saying they have a lot of bad effects but i mean at the end of the day guys name i'm also going to put in videos where uh after this i made a choice that i want to start a, a health journey right a, a fitness journey so i don't want to be in a situation where i have to always do this challenges and stuff like that so i drank this every morning without sugar and by the way it doesn't taste great it does not taste great at all but i had it every morning before i had anything and then during the day i was actually having healthy food right because i think the first three days or four days when i did this thing i was doing the daniel fast right so with the daniel fast obviously you know guys what to do like if you don't know about the daniel fast you can just scroll over my videos and then you will see what it's all about right i actually did a proper video on it so i was doing the dino fast so which meant i was not having meat i was having like veggies and fruits and stuff like that and even with those veggies and fruits i was having a little so yeah i guess that's what led to me losing a lot of weight and then also um i was keeping i was keeping like a thousand skips every day so like i've been skipping from september so i was like 121 and uh yesterday i went to do body assessment with my brother because i'm starting a fitness gym or not even about fitness but just being healthy you know and i wanted to start something that is durable something that is sustainable something that is lifetime you know not those things that i do and then stop and stuff like that so uh the first thing that my brother advised me to do to say come let's do a body assessment to assess the amount of fat you have how much you weigh and stuff like that of which by the way i'm going to do a live video with him and he's going to be actually being he's going to be my accountability partner sort of so which means i'm not going to slack if you want to join in on transforming your body like for the next six months because that's another thing he told me that uh these things take time so it's a progressive thing it's not about just doing it within a week right so those that have been asking does this concussion work it does work but i don't think it's healthy in the long run so look for methods to keep healthy or keep weight off through watching what you eat drinking more water and just assessing your body if you can see a nutritionalist if you can see a dietitian and stuff like that because also guys remember our bodies are different and we lose weight differently right so i'm sure you guys keep on saying how much did you lose how much did you lose so when i did the body assessment with my brother i was actually shocked like you know i'm like ooh, i now weigh 115.7 so which means i lost about about yeah i lost about five kgs within the eight plus minus eight days that i did this coffee thing I ate well and I skipped. So you can imagine if you continue eating well, continue skipping or exercising properly and stuff like that, what you could gain. So yeah, that's my review guys. But I don't think this is something that a person should do on their everyday lives. I don't think it's healthy. You can't, no, don't do it every day guys. You can do it once a while just to see if your body is reacting well. But otherwise find long-term plans on keeping your weight off so next um are videos that i took snapshots that i took yesterday of my brother doing the assessment and then when i went to virgin active and then yay guys i joined virgin active um yeah so i'm gonna be gymming, gymming at virgin active so i i took the package the nationwide package so most of the time i'm gonna gym at brown fontaine because it's closer to my place but um other times i'm going to be morning i'm going to be in morning side or wherever i'm closer to but i'm happy that i joined the gym and i have an accountable partner because another thing i've realized what kept on what made me keep on like 
relapsing, you know, stopping. It's because I always have these personal trainers that want me to to put in too hard and on the spot. You know those people that want you to make a, a great results like within uh, a month or whatever the case may be. Yes, they should be progress, but I don't like force. Like I love progression. Like slowly going into good habits, good eating habits, good exercising habits and stuff like that. So that's very important. So you're going to see what I did and stuff like that. And then yeah, my goal by what by next year March or April, I should be wearing 92. And that's something that um reasonable because you'll see how my brother explains it to say uh in a in a week apparently you can lose about a kg you know and stuff like that in a month you can lose four kg so within six months four eight twelve uh within six months i could lose like more than 10 kg plus minus 10 kg so in the next video you're going to get sort of um, a highlight of how my fitness journey is going to go or what's important when you're starting your fitness journey. And another thing, guys, when you start your fitness journey, always ensure that um, whatever you do, just assess yourself first. Don't just start. Like, do the basics. Like, you know, check your body weight, your body mass, how much are you supposed to weigh, your age and stuff like that. Check those things because they will help you account. Because now I know people, my BMI, like it's like 40 and apparently people my age is supposed to be 25. Already when I saw that, I'm like, oh, I can't afford to keep relapsing because it means I'm overweight, you know. So it's important that you start with the basics and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, let's enjoy the fitness journey. You guys can join me on Instagram. I'll post the details. I'm going to go live with my brother where he's going to give like advice. He's an expertise, like he's a qualified trainer, like, you know, what, like the top notch. So he's going to advise on what kind of foods to eat, exercises to look at. And then he's going to check my progress, you know. So I entered also he's got an app where you check your progress and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited for this guy come back again but don't do these challenges and stop like i think just implement lifestyle changes that will help you stay healthy forever and yeah don't forget to be love and light and kindness so the following videos are just like a snap snapshots of what was happening what i did how much i weigh what's important and me just interviewing my brother fooling around and doing like the virgin active at all thank you so much for coming to my channel so guys, I'm getting water now. I'm going to Virginia My brother is doing uh, an assessment for me. Like you guys know, I always start this fitness journey and stuff. So this time around, I'm doing it properly. So now I was in an Uber. He didn't have change. So I had to get water, water, water. Because I also left my squeeze bottle at home. So yeah. I'll catch you guys when I get to... Virginative. So guys, this is what I'm at for body assessment. How nice is it? So guys, yeah, like I said, my brother is actually doing this for me. So today I'm using my free pass just to get the feel of how Virginative works. Guys, even Nabu put a personal trainer. <laughs> Have brothers that are personal trainers. So guys, I've been influenced, right? Uh, to do that coffee and lemon challenge. So I want to see if it's going to make a difference. So I'm currently like on 120 kgs. So we'll check it. Today it's Monday. So we'll see how much I'll weigh after Monday yeah hopefully i'll be the other side of 120 hopefully so so yeah catch me on monday if you, besides in, in terms of uh, principles of, of training mm -hmm. when you do the same thing every single day without rest mm -hmm. chances are that you are now injuring that part you're not giving it enough time to recover and rest uh, sure. so if you're doing something strenuous like skipping is very, quite strenuous yeah it know? is so if you're doing something like that and um, over time, you will actually injure that part. Oh, uh, sure. And sometimes it gets really, really sore for a very long time. Then mm -hmm. it stop you from skipping, and then it actually stop you from doing other to do other exercises, and then you know you go back into a cycle of what. So I thought, okay, let me just 
help you get uh, your stuff. Okay. Uh, it's also gonna be good for your content. Mm -hmm. Your 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 audience is not my my uh, my market. So, <laughs> so, 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 oh so, wow! So, um, <laughs> what are so, you saying about no, my no, people? Uh, no, it, it's not. There's no, nothing wrong with people. <laughs> I'm just saying that my business is not. I'm I'm sort of shifting to more. Older people, mature people, people that have lifestyle diseases. That's what oh, okay, okay. Oh, so your niche is changing. Yeah, so my niche is sort of changing. Yeah, fine. People can still buy my healthy food mm -hmm. on the food side, but uh, my 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 niche, my target market is elderly people. You know, mm -hmm. been working and you, the money's there, but suddenly. You know, <laughs> oh, so you want you people want with to, the bag? You want you you want, you're not as healthy, uh -huh. as whatever. You guys are the Instagram people. You you want it to look nice on Instagram, and you want to you know like so so that that for me is no longer really the, the market that I uh, sure. so it's more health. So my my application of exercise is towards more health and mm -hmm. more let's do things that are sustainable yes. in, in the long run. Long activity, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So 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 what I'm gonna help you with. So today we're gonna do eat your body weight. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna obviously do your, what's called the body mass index, but just to help you sort of gauge. How much of body weight you need to be? Or mm -hmm. That is assuming that we will we'll see from the results that mm. you want to lose body weight. My scale will also give us your body fat percentage measurement. Mm -hmm. So the body fat percentage measurement allows us to then say, okay, if you want to lose so much weight, your weight loss is always body fat. So, sure. so when you're losing weight, we are always saying that you are losing body fat, not any other weight. Sure. So we want the body to share the extra body weight, mm -hmm. body fat, because body fat is the negative uh, body component if i could put it that way sure all right so what we're going to do today quickly uh what we you will fill up that form but we're going to still be able to measure today and then sure. later your time fill up and download my app on your site and then mm -hmm. that way we'll continue from there now. okay all right sure. so we don't need that this i normally use for body fat as well it's called okay. the, uh fat um caliper but we, we're not going to use that method today sure. okay we've got the scale so we're just going to need that and we just need one get measurement with our a tape measure, okay. and we're gonna, need, we're gonna use our bioelectrical impedance scale, which allows us to measure your body fat as well. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It's called body mass index. So body sure. mass index is a computation of your height and your weight. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just quickly calculate it based on the results that we've got. Sure. And we're gonna estimate what is your ideal body weight. So 1.7 times 1.7, 2.89. And then one fifteen point seven divided by two point eight nine. Right, so you've got a body mass index currently of forty point zero three. Okay. So forty point zero three puts you uh, in the quite a bit above what you what an ideal body mass index is. Okay. And a, an ideal an ideal one should be anything between 21 and 24, sure. 21 and 25. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, you could get away with it being 26 or 27, yeah? Okay. It puts you in the 90s. Okay. So 160 minus 24 kg. So in the next six months, we can push you down to 92 kg. Oh, okay. And then from then on, you can go down to 80 as your ideal weight, by the way. Sure. Okay. What what do you eat? What is your, what goes into your diet? That's going to be very important. Okay. Okay. In 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 any form of health journey, and not just weight loss journey, but health journey. Mm -hmm. What what goes into your diet at the moment? Yo, okay. I think I'm very guilty of not being conscious of what I eat. Yes. So it's like I eat what like what's me. Like if it's yeah. rice, I eat rice. Okay. If it's pap, I eat pap. But okay. if it's meat, I eat meat. Okay. Right, so yeah. All right. Okay. So, so what you will do then uh, on your on your on our live, we can do our live maybe on Friday. Friday yeah. Evening. So on our live, we'll discuss the certain principles that you need to have in mind when you're deciding on what you're gonna eat. Sure. And then we will talk about how you're gonna train. Sure. And then we we'll continue from there. Okay. All right. So today we have we have measurements. We've set your measurements and we've mm -hmm. set your goals. Sure. So you now know that in the next six months you want to be ninety k, ninety two k. Yes, ninety two k. Yes. Of which ideally you want to eventually be eighty yes. point, uh, eighty one k. Yes. Sure. That would be your ideal body weight. Sure. And so these are your goals in terms of ideal healthier body weight. Sure. And then we'll chat then on your thingy how the journey is going to work, how you're going to decide how you're going to train. How mm -hmm. you're gonna decide and how you're gonna work around your foot. Sure. Okay. 
right i'm gonna think of different sort of ways you could question it okay um and uh yeah that's all i think of ways you question it and then we'll discuss it tomorrow or today later today then oh okay well, that's fine then. or we can do the live on sunday yeah we can evening. do the sunday yeah sunday yes, yes, sunday. sure that's okay Perfect. all right thank you all right done with the goal setting <laughs> sure thank you you're ready to to get on a proper journey sure sure so we'll, we'll see what options you want. sure and then we'll see if you can pay half for me so i i need to they pay for our yes. medical aid right yeah. so i wasn't aware of lift those about vitality yeah. and stuff like that no, yeah